Hi, this is Dave out in Western Pennsylvania. Part two, I'm preparing a polyaniline hydrochloride salt, emeraldine salt, and it's uh, conducting organic polymer. Part one showed you the preparation of the hydrochloride salt. Two hours of stirring at room temperature uh, with the reactants. Uh, you start at zero to five degrees, you let it go up to room temperature over two hours. Now, during the course of reaction, after about an hour, I've taken some of the solution and with a paintbrush, I've applied it to some paper towel so you can see the dark green color, hence the name emerald. This is in the hydrochloride salt form. That would be, in the world of batteries, the charged form. And what I do in this approach is apply it with paintbrush to a rectangular sheet of graphite. And after each application with paintbrush, right from the solution, I use a hair dryer to uh, dry it. And I apply it about five or ten times. And you get a very nice coating of the conducting polymer. There, maybe that's a little better. On the surface of the graphite current collector, the uh, electrode. I put it to both sides. And this is in a short period of time. I'll bottle the solution, shake it up really well before applying, and uh, I'll experiment with concentrating this solution. So it's a chemical synthesis of the conducting polymer. Conducts ions, it also conducts electrons. And uh, I probably, using a wet cell, placing this, let's say, with stainless steel as the uh, uh, other electrode, I'll probably put it in there with some Epsom salt because I don't know how much of the oligomer from this preparation will be water-soluble. I may not have enough uh, electrolyte for uh, conducting current. So uh, what I will do is I immerse it in distilled water with some magnesium sulfate. But that's where we're at right now with this. This is part two, chemical synthesis of polyaniline. Thanks for watching. Bye now.